Hello and welcome to Public Forum. Amid continuous disruptions by opposition members, Lok Sabha Speaker Sumitra Mahajan convened an all-party meeting today to discuss better functioning of the House, proceedings of which have been virtually washed out in the monsoon session so far. Since the session began on July 21, there has hardly been any work except on one day when the Speaker went ahead with the question hour and zero hour amid din by the opposition members. The House met today after a two-day break following the demise of former President APJ Abdul Kalam and was adjourned in view of his funeral taking place in his hometown of Rameshwaram in Tamil Nadu. The Congress-led opposition remain, uh, remains at loggerheads meanwhile with the government over the resignation of senior BJP leaders and the BJP is standing firm behind its leaders, not ready to give in to the opposition demands. What then is the road ahead? Will the monsoon session be a complete washout? And what will it mean for the future of the crucial bills before Parliament and the government's reform agenda? We discuss. And to discuss the same, we have with us in the studios an eminent panel. Please welcome Mr. Shantaram Nayak. He's a member of Parliament Rajya Sabha of the Congress Party. Welcome to the program, Mr. Nayak. Sitting next to him is Suresh Angadi, a Lok Sabha MP of the Bharti Janata Party. Welcome to the program, Mr. Angadi. Uh, sitting next to him is Professor Shogat Ray of the All India Trinamool Congress. Welcome to the program, Professor Ray. And we're also joined by Santwana Bhattacharya, a political editor uh, with the New Indian Express. Welcome to the program, Ms. Bhattacharya. Uh, let's kick it off with you since uh, you were present at the all-party meeting convened by Lok Sabha Speaker today. Could you... Uh, uh, no, I wasn't present. I, I, I'm <laughs> afraid you, you've, been, you've been tracking that meeting. Yeah, you, yeah, you were not yeah. present there, of course. Uh, yeah. w w could you tell us w what have you been hearing from your sources? What really transpired in that meeting? Uh, the meeting took place, but there was uh, uh, no meeting ground as far as I could make out. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, with the Congress uh, still uh, sticking to its demand and the opposition parties, uh, uh, some of the opposition parties have their own demands like the TRS is saying that they will not give up its, uh, their protest for a high court in Telangana unless there is an assurance from the uh, mm -hmm. Prime Minister. Mm -hmm. So it is uh, in a way to each his own and uh, there uh, does not seem to be any meeting ground and the only thing that that one can say is a move forward is that the government has offered to call another all-party meeting from the government side okay. to thrash out the differences mm -hmm. but as of now it doesn't look like mm -hmm. there is going to be uh, um, any resolution to mm -hmm. the kind of uh, situation that we are uh, seeing in Parliament where mm. uh, disruptions have been happening right. uh, almost every day mm. since it uh, uh, started. And as for the GST and the land bill, the two crucial bills, mm -hmm. uh, the land bill, the government uh, uh, facing uh, opposition seem to have been indicating that uh, it is uh, uh, ready to, mm. uh, you know, uh, wa um, water down mm. the bill mm. or accommodate some of the uh, uh, positions that has been thrown up at the uh, meeting, mm -hmm. uh, parliamentary panel meeting. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, the, the so, but it doesn't look like that the land bill is slated to be taken up mm -hmm. this, uh, this session. Mm -hmm. What I could gather was uh, the government is keen to have another meeting <coughs> in hope mm -hmm. that probably there could be some movement on GST. Right. Okay, otherwise there doesn't seem to be... Mm -hmm. <laughs> any business hmm. uh, that is likely to be transacted mm -hmm. as it looks uh, like at this moment. Okay, so prospects of any business being transacted at the moment uh, doesn't look, it look, look very dim. bleak. Mm -hmm. It really looks very bleak apart, apart hmm. from, you know, supplementary grounds hmm. getting Right, but, but the focus or, or the reason uh, for calling this particular meet was, we understand, you know, the, to the, 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 the way uh, Lok Sabha has been functioning to ensure better functioning of the House. Uh, I'm talking about unruly behavior by members. Uh, as it, uh, I, mean, I have been covering all party meeting for uh, almost two decades now, or uh, uh, certainly, I mean, last uh, mm -hmm. 15 years. It, always happens when the speaker come, uh, calls the meeting, mm. uh, members from both sides uh, meet mm. and the opposition members 
who usually whoever mm. is on the opposition mm. promises to uh, allow uh, mm. you know uh, right. uh, business mm. uh, to be conducted mm. and uh, a speaker can it's more uh, these meetings are more for form's sake rather than anything else. Mm. Though uh, um, there are certain, you know, procedural issues that are coming up, mm. uh, uh, as in, you know, whether uh, the Congress has been raising these issues that, you know, they have been protesting, mm. but there has been a blackout of, uh, you know, what has been, uh, the, the pro what is happening, mm. except for the speaker, uh, speaker's podium, nothing is getting shown. Mm. So that is one of the issues that they have been, uh, uh, so these procedural issues, apart from the functioning mm. of the House, but has been sort of... But I tell you, no, I, I'm afraid I know it hasn't really been, it, 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 it is an issue it, for you to, uh, exactly, you know, take Exactly, there hasn't really been a, yeah. a d deliberate blackout, yeah. uh, as you point out, but uh, uh, Pro Professor Ray, um, uh, uh, how do you view what's been going on in this particular session for last 10 days or so? It's been well over a week into the monsoon session and uh, mm. the opposition is so showing no signs of relenting. No work is being done. As far as our party is concerned, even today at the all-party meeting, our representative Shudhi Bandhavadda said that we are in favor of peace prevailing and discussions taking place. But uh, the principal opposition party, Congress has stuck to its uh, position that no discussion before resignation. The ruling party is averse to accepting such a position. In the situation, the deadlock or log jam or whatever you call it continues. Mm -hmm. The other matter that the speaker raised that this hmm. coming of the well should be stopped hmm. and black cards. Our party's position is that as an opposition party, hmm. we can never accept that people will not go into the well. Okay. We have not gotten to the well this time. Hmm. We have done earlier. Hmm. And we are not also in favor of suspension of members also. Right. Even in the case of Adhiranjan Choudhury, mm. I had mentioned you that. You had emphatically uh, put forward. Yes, I, I had said that yes, Speaker has the power. Mm. She can under 374-1 mm. can name a truant member, but it should stop at that mm. because suspending or expelling members is not the solution. What I feel is lacking this time mm. is initiative from the ruling party mm -hmm. to break the logjam. Okay. The problem that has occurred hmm. cannot be solved in all party meetings. I hmm. do not know of the all party meeting to be <coughs> hmm. called by the government yet. Hmm. But in all party meetings, hmm. people take standard positions. If you have to resolve a conflict, there has to be hmm. back channel communication hmm. and some way, some proposal where the two main parties, hmm. BJP and Congress, can meet. Hmm. Congress, of course, says that during uh, their rule, hmm. sessions after session hmm. were wash out, hmm. washed out, right. especially with regard to hmm. 2G scam. Hmm. 43 days were lost in one session. BJP is saying that the demands of the Congress are hmm. untenable. I still feel, feel that, as Shantonaji said, that yes, mm -hmm. this is more a matter of form, this all party mm -hmm. meetings. Mm -hmm. But ultimately, any breakthrough has mm -hmm. to be through political channels and not through formal channels or okay. mm -hmm. by taking strong action, okay. etc. Okay, let me let me have uh, Mr. Angadi response to that. Mr. Angadi, clear, clearly, uh, as Ms. Bhattacharya said, there was a meeting, but there's no meeting ground. Uh, it's been well over a week into the monsoon session. No work has been done. Uh, is something being done probably to find a modus vivendi, perhaps through back channel, to end this deadlock? Always the government and the Prime Minister and our Parliamentary Affairs Minister, Mr. Inka Nairu, many times made it very clear government is ready to discussion. Mm -hmm. Discussion, debate, then decision. I don't know why the Congress party is running away without discussing. Okay. The, this is the utmost uh, highest forum of the country, the democratic temple of the country. People have elected, people mm -hmm. have given us mandate. 
So if the Congress party, as Sogatra has said, if they start debating, something will come out, then the decision will be taken in the f highest forum of the country. Hmm. I don't know why the Congress are run running away. Hmm. So every day they are disturbing the house. And 2G, he said, 2G, yes, it was there, Manmohan Singh was kept quiet at that time, he was not taken any action. But today, 2G, how much income the country has got, you know very well, mm -hmm. by auctioning. So, the, the, the BJP, when we were in opposition, mm -hmm. the strike we have made is But you different. know, Mr. Angari, many argue <coughs> that this demand to set up a JPC to prove that particular scam was set as a precondition by the BJP and that led to the washout of the entire winter session in 2010, didn't it? That is true. Whatever it may be, the fault has been made, this thing, the conviction has been come, the courts have made given decisions mm -hmm. and you know very well. So, we allowed them to di discuss in the parliament. Now we are, at that time they were not discussed, so when they were in government, they, they, they adjourned the house. Hmm. But today we are ready to discuss hmm. any issue. Okay. There are many issues pertaining to states. Ours is a federal structure of the government. Hmm. They are bringing the state issues in the parliament. Hmm. What about the work of the then the assemblies mm -hmm. in the states? Mm -hmm. So let the assemblies, you leave them to take decision there. Mm -hmm. The issues pertaining to these national issues have a discussion. Okay. So I request mm -hmm. the Congress leaders, mm -hmm. including my state leader, Mr. Malikarjun Karge, have a discussion, mm -hmm. see the house should be <coughs> run in a proper this thing. The people are watching mm -hmm. and the people have given mandate for us okay. this time. Mm -hmm. So we are we are very very frankly we are discussing in the house we are ready to okay. even okay. prime minister made it very clear many times hmm. even uh, Venkai Nadu the parliamentary minister hmm. made ve very clear in the uh, parliament hmm. but why the Congress friends are running away we don't know. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll let Mr. Naik respond to that. Mr. Naik, the BJP says they are ready for debate on each and every issue. Uh, don't you think it's a better way to to d discuss and debate and deliberate? What did they say last time? What did they say? Obstruction, doing obstruction hmm. is a is not anti democratic and therefore they continue to obstruct for full two sessions and they say it is democratic right of the opposition. Today they remember every pra parliamentary procedure, etc. At that time they did not to yesterday I have seen in, in one of the newspapers hmm. that all quotations what they say on this issue hmm. have been brought in by one of the news leading newspapers. Hmm. So therefore they have forgotten what they have said during last two sessions hmm. and they have no moral right okay. to preach us hmm. on parliamentary democracy hmm. or as to how we should behave. Mm -hmm. We told them we require three resignations hmm. and whose resignation of the people who have betrayed the nation. There are issues which amount to betraying the nation. I am not quoting the minister. Mm -hmm. Again, similarly, another minister hmm. doing same, another chief minister hmm. who has done the same thing. Hmm. Worst is still, hmm. there is a chief minister in whose state there are 2,000 people are in jail under one scam. One minister is in jail. Hmm. So, with respect to two, three people, ministers, we are seeking resignation first before as a precondition okay. for the commencement of the debate. Hmm. But the BJP has rejected what it has described oh, as ultimatum uh, from the opposition. So let us say if, if that is their right, hmm. what we have done is our right. And, and to due respect to my colleague, we are not ra running away. Hmm. We say the same thing, whatever in the house. Okay. Or no, no, Mr. Angadi, a quick no, no, from you. There are two different issues. Hmm. There, there are certain issues pertaining to states. There are certain issues pertaining to central hmm. national issues. Okay. Whatever the national issue, we, are, hmm. we have no problem. We are asking them to discuss in the hmm. parliament. Okay. Without discussing, hmm. for example, nine, nine, 1993, hmm. ACUB's decision was given, the decision given after 20 years, hmm. 22 years. Hmm. So, the, the procedure in India, our hmm. courts and our system, our parliamentary democracy is very well fair. 
without any discussion, debate, how can you take action on anybody? Okay, so you're even saying the two... Even in their government, they have okay, not so taken any action. Okay, so the two chief ministers even, even in question we, here should not be dragged in into this, you say? We saying? fought in the parliament. Hmm. At that time, they also not taken suddenly decision. Hmm. Okay, so, yeah. pro uh, Professor Ray, where do you weigh, weigh in on this particular issue? No, <coughs> I do not agree with Mr. Angadi hmm. that these are state issues. Hmm. Firstly, the issue of the external affairs minister hmm. or our so-called wrongdoing. I am not passing judgment on that. But that directly involves the centre. Hmm. So that can and be brought before the parliament. In the case of Vapam scam, where 50 people have already died, they have died not only in Madhya Pradesh, hmm. one doctor died in Delhi, the UP, uh, the MP governor's son died in Uttar Pradesh. So it has acquired all India ramifications. Hmm. So, that is all right. We are not going to merits of any case, hmm. nor uh, I am talking about the demands made by the hmm. Congress party. She mentioned Telegu Desam. That is hmm. not an intractable problem. Their problem is much less. Hmm. Some people are also, some parties are demonstrating also Tear. about hmm. caste Tear. census, Tear. caste Tear. census like hmm. JDU hmm. and RJD. Hmm. But that is not major. The major is the Congress demand for... Hmm. Uh, resignations of one central minister and two state ministers hmm. and the BJP's resistance. Hmm. It's high time that the government takes some initiative. Hmm. And particularly I want to say, he was mentioning that Prime Minister has said, hmm. Prime Minister in the present juncture, 21st session started, today is hmm. 30th. Hmm. Has the Prime Minister made one statement hmm. with regard to these demands, hmm. either inside or outside parliament? Hmm. The answer is no. He is okay. speaking on many things. Man ki baat achi. That is a good thing hmm. that the Prime Minister is trying to communicate hmm. with the people. Hmm. He, he has gone to receive hmm. our former President hmm. Kalam Sahib's body. He hmm. has again gone to his house. He has again gone to the cremation. Hmm. But in the midst of all this, okay. the fact that parliament is being hmm. jammed hmm. has not received his attention. At least from his words, he hmm. said nothing. He should come forward. Right. He is the, right. he is the chief, chief executive of the country. And you're talking of legislation. Hmm. Land bill, hmm. the Joint Parliamentary Committee has not yet hmm. submitted. Hmm. Right. Right, Very Professor, we'll, we'll talk about the legislation <coughs> uh, legislation Let pending before Lok Sabha a little later in greater detail and we'll discuss Trinamool's protest over this issue as well. But Mr. Angari responds to that. Why has the Prime Minister been silent? As Professor Ray pointed out, he has been pretty active on other fora. Prime Minister is not silent. The Parliamentary Affairs Minister many times he made the statement in the house. Hmm. Let us, prime minister, no? even, even Prime Minister also, he is coming to the he house. He, no, no, he is coming to the house and hmm. he is seeing the, if you, if you are allowed to discuss, hmm. if you, then only it is possible, without any discussion, hmm. how can you give punishment? He is a senior most uh, leader hmm. and he was a professor. If any student makes a disturbance in the class, hmm. can you give punishment immediately in the classroom? Disturbance, let us say he, now. He, hmm. he, what happened last what, one what month? What happened? He, he goes to the principal, he goes to the hmm. other people and uh, call his parents, then hmm. discussion. Then the action will be taken on the student. Hmm. Now, what the Congress party is saying, give punishment first, hmm. then discussion. How it is possible in natural justice? You, you must give an opportunity. Hmm. So, Smasura has made her statement in the parliament. She is hmm. ready to make statement. But you are not allowing to discuss in the parliament. The parliament is meant for the discussion. All right. So you are saying so BJP so is ready to debate this issue. No, she is ready to make the statement. Oh, the minister herself is ready to make the statement. You are, you are first statement. asking resignation. All right. If, if he is a professor, hmm. if he makes any mistakes in his college, hmm. can he, can the students okay, start? Okay, we will have your co-panelists respond to that in just a bit. We have to slip into a break. We will we'll take a break. I will come back to you, gentlemen, in just a bit. Stay with us. We will be right back. Ms. Bhattacharya, I will continue with you. You know, the co with Parliament continuing to stare at a stalemate. Uh, what lies ahead for the crucial legislation that were lined up for this particular session? I'm talking about the real estate bill, the GST bill, and so on. The land bill, of course, we uh, we understand remains stuck. Uh, 
Um, this uh, this can be tackled at two levels. Mm -hmm. The despite the fact that the pa uh, parliament has not been running mm -hmm. and there have been regular disruptions, mm -hmm. the parliamentary panel has been actually working uh, very meticulously mm -hmm. and actually has put in lot of work on both the both the uh, bills. You mm -hmm. know these two major bills which are. Uh, um, pending. Hmm. On the real estate bill also there has been unlike on the session and running of the house hmm. on the real estate bill there has been some back channels there hmm. has been some meetings of the stakeholders, hmm. some common ground many, many, many meetings, not uh -huh. meetings. Many hmm. meetings hmm. Uh, with the stakeholders hmm. trying to uh, find a common ground hmm. uh, between the opposition line and hmm. uh, uh, the Congress and the BJP hmm. and other opposition parties I believe hmm. um, also um, and of course on GST there hmm. have been uh, talks uh, 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 not just with uh, hmm. um, the work that is being put in by the hmm. parliamentary panel hmm. which I think has been doing actually doing very good work. Mm. They have uh, uh, got a representation from large section of people. This is actually, it is sad that, you know, um, uh, this part of the parliamentary work has mm. not been opened up to the media mm -hmm. because of which there is under-reporting on this area. Okay. So, uh, despite the fact to say that nothing has happened, mm -hmm. we tend to overstate the uh, thing. Okay. Um, overstate and the media, we op mm. overstate the thing that it is house is not running, it's mm. di disruption, it's mm. disruption. But actually, mm. there has been really good uh, mm. and continuous work happening mm. at the parliamentary uh, panels, both at the select committee mm. and the joint mm. parliamentary but committee. Okay, so parliamentary panels are working, but uh, working the and at the end of the day, there would be a... Uh -huh. is not taking place. No, at the end of the day, mm. there is going to be a report. Mm -hmm. Whether uh, the report is a majority report mm. the, uh, or there are going to be dissent note, mm. it is uh, actually a very fine example of our parliamentary system of okay. work. Mm where you know clause by clause mm. meticulously everything is looked at mm. where you know sta stakeholders mm. actually on a bill mm. uh, 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 the stakeholders are called and you know mm. asked to uh, you know depose give, give their view mm. it is actually <coughs> a very good work that uh, happens mm. and that report is going to be submitted to the uh, uh, government it mm. is up to the government to accept the recommendation or not mm. how they deal with the report whether there are too many decisions sent note hmm. and whether then the government will be ready to weave in some of the de points from the uh, dissent note come mm -hmm. find a common ground and mm -hmm. get the bill passed mm -hmm. is a different matter mm -hmm. but uh, but to say that you know no work has been happening on the bill mm -hmm. is a wrong thing mm -hmm. but whether the bills will get passed this session there is right. a big question mm -hmm. because what we are currently seeing mm -hmm. is a politics of tit, tit for tat Absolutely. it's a it's a very unforced fortunate situation mm. because um, I remember you know um, Shivraj Patil was uh, a speaker at that point of time mm. and he he had uh, in the house somewhere scolded one of the members saying um, I think it was a congress member he scolded and said you have to uh, uh, stop because this is uh, sit down this is a battle of bits mm. okay it's mm. a battle of bits mm. so uh, we uh, we have not seen that for a while okay. and to say that uh, this is that the disruptions is happening now hmm. is also not true okay. uh, you know uh, the fact that you know congress is constantly saying hmm. that you know the president uh, has been uh, we have we are BJP. following your footsteps hmm. Hmm. president has been set hmm is a fact of the mm. matter okay. uh, in the last 10 years also especially mm. in the last 3 4 years mm. we have actually seen mm. uh, uh, you know continuous disruption continuous right. disruption mm. of mm. the uh, of parliament and it was a very sad thing right because in fact, some of the some of the yeah, are told what yeah. was the least productive in 50 yeah. years yeah and uh, the f uh, not not just because you know to say that you know it, uh, to see parliamentary function mm. in terms of just money spent is i don't think the right approach to okay. look at it mm. you know uh, what i think is far more tragic is the okay. fact that you mm. ha we had mm. actually two very brilliant parliamentarians and leader of oppositions mm. both sushma swaraj and arun jaitley mm. were 
excellent speakers mm -hmm. excellent speakers mm -hmm. uh, you know shogalta himself mm -hmm. is here he's mm -hmm. also uh, you know you've heard they're mm -hmm. all very great speakers right. they they can make their political point mm -hmm. very brilliantly mm -hmm. when we have covered uh, mm -hmm. this thing it is a riveting thing to uh, uh, be covering mm -hmm. parliament mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. listening to some of mm -hmm. the debate mm -hmm. it is that what we we are missing out okay, okay but it but is it, hmm. it is not just in terms of you know to say that you know we have uh, every hour we miss out so hmm. many crores of rupees okay so, so you're many saying crores. it's unfair to uh, to to you to, know to, uh, 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 huh. so hmm. uh, the thing is that it's not as if parliament could not debate hmm. we had excellent parliamentarians hmm. with great debating skills hmm. and uh, great uh, you know orators but mm -hmm. we didn't uh, you know hmm. uh, have the scope to hear them okay. we remember how do we remember vajpayee hmm. we remember him mostly about hmm. through hmm. the speeches he made in parliament right uh, so this is what we have not been seeing uh, you know okay. unfortunately hmm. not seeing we, we we'll come back to yeah. that that very the pertinent point you're raising right I, i'll come back to that point but you know since we are talking about the future of crucial legislative uh, agenda ahead of parliament uh, mr naik what happens to the gst bill now see well, i am telling it you it depends on the congress three, party where three, the the, the, the bjp doesn't have the yes, numbers in the rajya sabha three select committees appointed hmm. and the last select committee has given report today which is real estate you mentioned hmm. so reports are ready hmm. now it's up to the government hmm. see to and we What have presented in that today also? yes hmm. real estate okay Uh, now question is all these reports we have passed amicably wherever we differ we have given but the gst is the one that needs two thirds majority we understand yeah, gst also report because it's cost in place hmm. place report hmm. is place gst hmm. report is place land acquisition report place hmm. and the real estate is place today hmm. so that process is complete hmm. now it's up to the government now it's up now to I'm the government now i'm telling you one important which may interest hmm. you hmm. see ultimately <coughs> why we go to the well or make shout you may say we have seen is unfortunate i will say but only when you shout hmm. go to the well okay then the past experience shows that party returns to power hmm. no this is hmm. reality hmm. That, see question is not that okay. see, that returns to power i hmm. may be wrong but i have seen this no. is the result hmm. you no. why don't you say you know no, no, then you will say I mean, because because I mean, you you have come to power because of because of the scams hmm. no no you, you understand secondly atal bihari was supplement this i'm telling you immediately sushma swaraj i am telling you please please okay, please I'll, i'll come to you mr please no 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 i will complete i will give a good speaker no 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 i'll tell you i'll tell you she will now agree Hmm. Uh, when i give this example now you will agree hmm. no, you are doing good debates your your standard is good hmm. so, so but the other channel hmm. which makes maximum noise hmm. day and night okay that but, channel hmm. no that channel is the best so you are saying how house, house disruption uh, or your party is disrupting uh, proceedings not to ensure accountability <coughs> or fix accountability no, uh, but this is people uh, but for electoral people gains people like this disruption hmm. people like noise hmm. therefore one of your competitor channel is today that trp is highest okay and where sober channel like, like yours sober channel like yours and others hmm. have lagging behind no there is a <coughs> theory in this country hmm. that opposition means total opposition hmm. no holds barred hmm. i've heard in the past people talk of constructive opposition hmm. constructive yes. debate that is all theoretical when you are in the opposition your supporters believe that you should go whole hog hmm. against the ruling party this is a mentality that pervades and he is hmm. very right hmm. that <coughs> any channel that shows the maximum number of fights hmm. any channel which arrogates to itself hmm. the representative of the nation they want to know means nation wants to know <laughs> professor so, you know let's no, let's no, not no, talk no, about we, other we, channels we, they we, have we, their we, own mandate no, and we uh, have our own yeah, you are yes, yes, very so, good yes. we appreciate <laughs> lok sabha tv thank you and we will be happy when trp of lok sabha tv rises <coughs> but as far as the bills are concerned hmm. Mr Naik is very right hmm. the committees have done their work hmm. they have presented the report in parliament especially real estate and gst hmm. now the government can start okay. working on that hmm. land bill the report they have been hmm. extended the time till 3rd august hmm. they have not yet hmm. they have not yet hmm. submitted the report hmm. so now with these reports in hand hmm. let the government start 
back channel negotiations hmm. with the opposition party which is hmm. protesting the most hmm. and there is nothing not possible through negotiations the okay. vietnam war which hmm. went on for so many years hmm. ultimately ended by kissinger and le doc tho hmm. negotiating in paris hmm. so i do not give up okay. the idea of hmm. negotiations any time at the moment hmm. as of today after the all party meeting hmm. situation for running the parliament in hmm. this session looks a little bleak to okay. me i would like the house to run okay, but let, i can't hmm. force uh, the house to run okay let, let's properly. now quickly take a look at what uh, lok sabha speaker sumitra mahajan had to say at the end of the all party meet that she had convened this evening aaj yahan pe jo baithak rakhi gayi बैठक के पीछे एक थोड़ा सा उद्देश्य ये था कि हाँ ये बातें हो रही हैं मगर जिस तरीके से प्ले कार्ड लेकर के वेल में आ रहे हैं या वेल में आ रहे हैं ये बातें देखा जाए तो नियमों में कहीं ना कहीं अनुचित ठहराई गई बातें हैं और इसलिए मन में मेरे परसों जो भी घटना हो गई उस दिन एक बात और हो गई कि जब ये सब कुछ चल रहा था कोई एक सदस्य स्पीकर की टेबल तक उछल गया था तब अचानक मेरी नजर ऊपर प्रेक्षा ये जो गैलरी है उस गैलरी की तरफ मेरी नजर गई और उसमें मैंने देखा पूरे के पूरे उसमें बच्चे भरे थे बच्चे बैठे थे स्कूल के बच्चे होंगे कॉलेज के हो सकते हैं मगर एक प्रकार से प्रेक्षक गैलरी पूरे बच्चों से भरी थी और तब कहीं ना कहीं मेरे मन में बात आई कि ये सब बहुत ही ज्यादा गलत उनके सामने बात है और मैंने ये मन में सोचा कि ये नियम भी है या कहो तो प्रेसिडेंट भी है कि इसके पहले भी अगर जहां तक राजनीति की मेरी शुरुआत हुई उन्नीस से मेरी राजनीति की शुरुआत लोकसभा से हुई उन्नीस में तो वो जो भी मैं देखती आई कि 2000 में क्या हुआ 2001 में होता रहा दो में तीन में चार में आगे जाके फिर नौ दस ग्यारह ये सब चीजें होती रही मैं ये मानती हूं पक्ष में लोग विपक्ष में आ गए विपक्ष के लोग सत्ता पक्ष में आए ये भी परिवर्तन मैंने अपने आंखों से देखे उसी प्रकार ये भी देखा कि हाँ जो विपक्ष में रहता है वो कहीं ना कहीं इस प्रकार से वेल में भी आता है या जो भी जो आज मुझे अनुचित लगते हैं वो सभी प्रकार होते रहे मगर मेरे मन में एक बात आई कि जैसे हम हमारे देश में भी या हम अपने घर में भी जो बात करते हैं कि जो अनुचित चीजें हो रही है उसको कहीं ना कहीं तो स्टॉप करने की सोचना पड़ेगी किसी ना किसी ने तो ये हो रहा है इसलिए होता ही रहने देना है क्या ये बात मेरे मन में आई और ये सब चीजें सोच करके मैंने जो आज एक सर्वदलीय बैठक बुलाई थी वो इसीलिए बुलाई थी कि हमारे यहां रूल बुक है हम संविधान की शपथ लेकर के पार्लियामेंट में आते हैं और रूल बुक के अनुसार कुछ चीजें अनुचित है नहीं करना चाहिए रूल्स भी कोई एक स्पीकर ने नहीं बनाए ये रूल्स भी जो बनाए गए कमेटी ने बनाए जिसमें सभी पक्षों के लोग हैं और सभी पक्षों ने अगर मिलकर कुछ रूल्स बनाए तो उसका पालन होना चाहिए परंपरागत अगर पहले पालन नहीं हुआ 2001 में नहीं हुआ दो में नहीं हुआ या दो में नहीं हुआ या बारह में नहीं हुआ इसलिए 15-16 में भी नहीं होना चाहिए क्या इसी बात को हम लेकर चले क्या ये एक बड़ा प्रश्न मेरे सामने था वो मुझे सबके सामने रखना था कि क्या एक अच्छी परंपरा की हम शुरुआत कर सकते कि कम से कम विरोध के भी जो नियम है उसके अंतर्गत अपनी बात जोरदार रखे विरोधी पक्ष लेकिन जिस नियम के अनुसार जो हमें कतई नहीं करना चाहिए विशेष रूप से प्ले कार्ड दिखाना या वेल में आना ये जो दो बातें हैं ये अच्छी नहीं मानी जाती है क्या हम उसको सभी मिल करके तय कर सकते हैं क्या कि ये नहीं होना चाहिए
Lok Sabha Speaker Sumitra Mahajan there at the end of the all party meet that she had convened this evening expressing her concern over some members uh, rushing to the well of the house uh, displaying protest placards uh, which is against parliamentary rules um, I'll continue the discussion with Mr Angadi uh, as the race is, uh, has pointed out you know, the only uh, way out seems to be back channel negotiations what can we expect see the speaker has made it very clear the students the public gallery they are seeing the how the parliament we are running in the parliament hmm. so she her concern the people of the country should get the justice and uh, the debate should take place so the opposition they are not following the rules and regulations which mm -hmm. are made president we never taken the play cards and other this thing we have never gone to the podium but this time i don't know the 65 years of the mm -hmm. ruling in the uh, party majority more than 50 years mm -hmm. congress has been ruled this country so they are now making the disturbance in the house it is mm -hmm. unfortunate so the senior leader uh, uh, mr naik is there jetli has told all, all these things hmm. jetli has not told jetli is, jetli is a good speaker and good parliamentarian sushma also good parliamentarian <coughs> even earlier somnath dada was there he used to scold us when we disturbed and all we remember given somnath dada what sumitra majan is saying now our honorable speaker how should run hmm. and what we are asking debate discuss decision hmm. Three Ds are more important. Hmm. What the, then? What is the use of the parliament then? Hmm. Why the parliament is required then? Hmm. If you want to fight here, hmm. you can fight on the road itself. Hmm. So today, Congress somewhere it is failed, hmm. and they are running away from the debate. I hmm. don't know why, hmm. because they don't want to discuss. Their let us take uh, all the state issues, not only one state, hmm. uh, Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan. Only why you take? You take hmm. Kerala, you take Karnataka, hmm. you take West Bengal, hmm. you take. all these states hmm. let us you, you come to a certain conclusion hmm. you are not coming to the conclusion one side you are asking for the states also in the parliament okay and one side you are asking the national issue also hmm. and the rules made by the people of the parliament all the opposition leaders and everybody so we are not following that when they say something before the speaker hmm. when they come to the parliament they start disturbing hmm. so we have never done this hmm. the opposition when we are in opposition hmm. we 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 fought for the, this thing right hmm. to this thing hmm. But, but uh, the Congress we, has we, been we saying that we, this strategy we, we of disruption the, was the started by the BJP. The party which was in power last 50 years, hmm. they come with the placards. Hmm. It is it is shameless to the people of the country. Hmm. So a opposition, as Dada said, hmm. as uh, he said, there should be a good debate in the parliament. Hmm. Hmm. He said, we are hmm. ready for that. Hmm. We are not running away. Hmm. And uh, always we were fighting for the Manmohan Singh. Please, uh, Manmohan Singh should open his mouth and he should take action. he was a very good prime minister very honest prime minister we we proud about the hmm. honorable manmohan singh also hmm. but he unable to take the decisions because of his own problems in his own party hmm. so at that time hmm. our fight was against the congress party ruling congress party at that time hmm. not against the prime minister so now the congress party should understand they should come to the conclusion hmm. i request through you once again the congress party the senior leader mr malikarjun karge is the opposition leader hmm. discuss hmm. debate take decision then allow the hmm. government to okay. express their uh, uh, mr naik decision. do you think that so this, then, this strategy then the decision of can be taken this strategy of disruptions do you, do you think it's sustainable in in the long run present government highest. says time and again hmm. through the through prime minister in fact that our government is a transparent government we believe in transparency now when the house opposition they shout etc they are not shown on tv hmm. whatever may be they are sh shouting whatever it is, you cannot in 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 rajya sabha hmm. those uh, pictures are shown those shots are shown well mr naik it's not a deliberate uh, uh, you know no, attempt no, it is deliberate because it has been decided it is it is, it is decided DNI and when you are blackouting the opposition Uh, demonstrations or de whatever you may call it and where is the transparency no but my question to you is how long are you going to do no, uh, continue with point, this strategy do you think like it's sustainable in the long two run two points i would like to make which i refer earlier it's not that regional issues cannot be discussed regional issues can be discussed then the assemblies are there na then and you no, no, the i explain then, then, then the assemblies are not required i explain to you then you will understand 
concurrent list is there and state list is there issues from concurrent list and there are many hmm. and issues in the listed in the state list can be very well be discussed any other thing in from the union list we cannot discuss but there are many issues how can you ban members from discussing issues listed out in concurrent list and state list mm -hmm. Let me explain. Okay, uh, a, a, a quick <coughs> word from you, Professor Ray. You, you've touched upon this point. I know that issue of chief ministers being raised in Lok Sabha. No, <coughs> issue of chief ministers has been raised in hmm. Parliament before. Hmm. You know, in the 60s, there were issues against hmm. Biju Patnaik mm -hmm. and Biren Mitra, then <coughs> chief ministers of Odisha, hmm. who ultimately had to resign. So it's not that state issues have not been raised. Again, when the state goes under president's rule, no, it comes then, under then, the then, comes then, under the center. Then, then you discuss. Then there is an elected body. My my question is very simple to both sides. That the BJP Congress says hmm. no discussion before resignations. BJP said hmm. debate. Discussion, hmm. decision, and decision. Hmm. So these are two intractable. BJP's hmm. strategy seems to me hmm. to be to exhaust right. the Congress hmm. because they feel there are 44 members hmm. of them. The shouting hmm. uh, brigade would consist of maybe 20, 25. Hmm. So Congress will tire out. They are trying that tactic. Hmm. And they, that is the BJP's <coughs> tactic, and. Uh, the Congress feels why not if the hmm. uh, smaller parties hmm. have held up parliament before. Hmm. So even with our lack of numbers we can do this. Hmm. This will not lead to hmm. parliament to work. Right. This will not lead to, so I have been trying to hmm. tell everybody who listen to me hmm. that find a way out of the hmm. log jam. Right. So that uh, both sides do not take hmm. Such positions hmm. where there cannot be any compromise. After all, I would agree hmm. that people of the country ultimately want right. discussion and debate. Hmm. They yes. want uh, the parliament to Absolutely. function. Hmm. They hmm. want to listen to right. good speeches. Hmm. Congress is strengthened by the fact that during those disruption in UPA hmm. days, Arun Jetli wrote an article in the Hindu hmm. where he said disruption is a part of parliamentary procedure. Mm. Shushma and mm. legitimate. Mm. And Shushma Swaraj mm. said that the same thing mm. in another way. Mm. So now it is for the BJP to say what we had but we done then, right. what we had said, what we had said, said then mm. was wrong. Okay. We mm. do not want such wrongs to mm. be repeated. <coughs> we want new traditions to right. be created. We will mm. reach out to mm. the opposition. Mm -hmm. We shall talk to them, okay. just like in the all okay, the so committees. Some kind in the, all the committees, hmm. you just see all right. how they arrived at report because there are a lot of back channels. Okay, discussion. okay, Professor, I am so afraid we are completely out of time. So why can't do the same for running of the course, house? Of course, some Let kind of middle ground has to be found yes. uh, by both sides, both the Congress as well as the BJP. On that note, it's time for me to wrap up this discussion on public forum. I'd like to thank all my guests for coming to the studios. It was a pleasure having you here. That's it for now in this edition of Public Forum. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. <laughs>